This week, the National Oce Oceanic and Atmospheric Association released its weather outlook for the winter season. And the big takeaway, climate change in the El Nino weather pattern may make our winter look a little different. Now, climate change doesn't mean winter is going away. It's just changing. Here in Indiana, NOAA expect, expects less snowfall this year, and temperatures will be a little warmer than normal. But when the cold does hit, it will be even more severe. When we have one of these very severe cold spells, it's because the jet stream is taking one of these big southward swings, and that allows the Arctic cold to penetrate much farther south than usual. NOAA officials say it's now much harder to predict upcoming seasonal weather patterns. That's because climate change makes the big picture more difficult to see. Is that, I mean, much surprise to, comes to you, Lindsay? Or? There are so many factors, and I give the climate scientists so much credit for all of the research that they do to make sure everything is kind of going as they expect it to, but there are so many different ocean oscillation patterns and long range forecasts that we look at. And then we also have to look at the setup versus mm -hmm. what things have done in the past and how they could possibly compare. So with that being said, I kind of want to break down what El Nino is. Yeah. yeah, so essentially what El Nino is, it's the temperatures off the equatorial Pacific. Sometimes they are above normal, sometimes they are below normal, and if they were below normal, then we would call that La Nina. But the setup as we uh, predict over the next couple of months, what our weather patterns are going to do, it really starts down here. We also have the Arctic Oscillation that's up here. And then uh, farther to the north, we have other oscillation patterns. So there's a lot that goes into this, but this is the primary source where we get a lot of those longer range climate outlooks to kind of tell us what our jet stream patterns are going to do. We've got the moisture feed to the north, that jet stream that sets up in the upper levels of the atmosphere to our north. And where these two generally set up, we can predict, will we see perhaps above average temperatures, below average temperatures, and this is kind of what we're looking at here. With the El Nino setup, that would mean above normal across the northern tier of the U.S. and as far as the moisture content goes, closer to that tropical jet stream, wetter than normal to the south, and then we'll be tapping into more perhaps Arctic air at times, keeping things drier than normal across the Great Lakes region and then down to the Ohio River Valley. So something to keep in mind, of course, as we go through the next several months, there will be a lot of things that we look at and analyze to see how this winter is going to play out.